So maybe you've had your eye on the dating industry for a while. Maybe you've thought about going to a coach because you've come out of a relationship or you've uh, you've uh, been lonely for a while and you're thinking like, you know what, I want to get my dating life sorted. So what's the next step that I'm going to take? Well, if you're thinking about joining some kind of dating community or the uh, the old school pickup communities, then I think this video is going to be quite an important one for you because you need to be prepped for keeping in mind a few things that will happen on your development journey being part of some kind of dating community. And if you are thinking about entering one, I want you to do it with a very sensible approach. So I'm going to cover in this video five important questions that you do need to be asking yourself if you're thinking about joining a pickup or dating community. So question number one that I want you to be asking yourself is what exactly do you need help with? Now, many men enter the communities for all sorts of reasons. You've got the guys who have been lonely maybe for most of their life. They haven't got the social skills and they are looking to be more confident, be used to socializing with people that they have never really considered socializing with before. Or you've got the guys who want relationships or maybe they've been in relationships and they've come out of relationships and they are trying to figure out the dating scene being single once again. But again, it's important to know what particularly you need help with because there is just a lot of wishy-washy content that's all over the internet and certainly all over the world from different coaches and even from people who you know claim to be experts and gurus but are just more than happy just to voice their opinions on stuff and just troll people rather than giving really tangible and useful advice so you have to bear in mind that when you do enter any kind of community, especially ones that are more online based, you're going to be interacting with people who are probably on very similar situations as yours, or they could be even worse than you as well. Um, I've certainly met many guys over the years who just don't have any social skills or they've got just this particular attitudes and mindsets to women that are just incredibly derogatory or just not appropriate really for being around. You don't really want to be learning or taking any advice from these people. So it's important again to know what you're coming in to the dating industry for. So you can go to the particular experts, you can join the particular groups and you can certainly get the uh, that you can then, I suppose, look for the right kind of information is what I'm trying to say here uh, to actually adopt and use into your own life. And you can just learn the things that you need to rather than potentially losing whatever good skills that you've got, because it's very easy, I think, to try and learn everything there is about dating. And actually it can overwrite some of the good skills that you had already. So consider what particularly you need help with and look to just try and work on those things if you can, but it's not a problem if you're looking to learn certainly the whole process as well, depending on where you're at. The second question that I want you to consider is, are there any other alternatives that you can take before considering the idea of entering a dating or pickup community. Now, I have met guys that really shouldn't need or shouldn't be part of any kind of dating or pickup community. And instead, they should be going and seeking help from like a therapist or maybe working on other areas of their life first before they then go and get some help. By being able to go and speak to a therapist and stuff, they might be able to help you with overcoming the traumas that you've got or even seeking professionals who deal in areas of like psychology or social freedom and whatnot as well that could give you everything that you need or the confidence that you need to put yourself out there into the world. You may not need to be dedicating all your time joining forums or watching a non-stop amount of videos on YouTube because I'm certainly aware how addictive it can be for guys to just constantly sit and watch 
dating coaches doing their approaches and stuff and it almost becomes like this reality tv voyeuristic kind of experience and that isn't going to help you necessarily with your dating life this industry is very much you come in you get what you need and then you exit and move on but just make sure that you know you have exhausted every other alternative first before you consider entering any kind of community and at the end of the day this is one that not really anyone can tell you um you know have you done all of these different alternative methods that's really down for you to decide you know what is worth at least trying or what have you exhausted for you to go right you know what I need to enter a dating community. I need to go to a dating coach. They are going to be the ones to help me out with all of my problems. So just make sure that you have tried everything else first or that you have certainly justified your your conclusion that going to a dating community and a dating coach is going to be the right thing for you. Question number three that I want you to ask yourself is, are you prepared to put yourself into this environment? Now, cold approach is not easy. You are going against the social norm here and you are going to be dealing with a lot of rejections from people. Now, it's great that there are then the communities that can give you the support that you need and the advice, maybe not necessarily all the greatest of advice, but they can give you the advice to have that confidence to go out and do it, as well as you'll be able to meet people that you can go out and practice with. But it isn't for everyone, but it doesn't mean it's not for everyone forever it's more of a case of like you've got to be mentally prepared for going out and doing approaching there is a lot of commitment that comes into focusing on your dating life so you need to make sure that you are in the right mindset for it that you can handle or you're prepared to be able to handle rejections and a lot of it um i've met guys as well who you know have that kind of rubber band effect where they kind of go into doing approaching or they join the dating communities and they go out and it is just a horrifying experience for them that it almost sets them back that it's actually created a trauma and they are almost petrified to leave the house to go and speak to people because they now no longer want to experience rejection so if you're going to enter a dating community just make sure that you are mentally prepared for it it's not for everyone but it doesn't mean that you just can't enter it ever maybe you just need to you know see a therapist first again on my previous question like have you exhausted other alternatives make sure that you are in a right place or right headspace first and then go out and join a community and then put yourself into the situations of approaching whether it be with guys you've met in communities or whether it be through a coach so question number four is Don't set too high expectations for yourself. Now, when guys come into any sort of dating or pickup community, I think the one kind of branding or message you really see a lot, especially probably leaning more towards pickup, is this idea of like, you know, getting laid or you're going to sleep with this amount of women and stuff. And it really is just nonsense. It does not happen straight away. And if it does, I would again question why on earth you are even thinking about entering a dating community if you are already in a good place. For most guys, if you are struggling with meeting women, that is kind of like your uh, your entry ticket into being part of a community. So just make sure that you aren't setting the bar too half high for yourself. You want to be coming in and going, you know what? I'm not great, but if I dedicate this amount of time to it, this amount of time in the community, as well as balancing it with other areas, other social areas of my life, then absolutely I can get better and I can get good. Don't come in to any kind of community that with the expectation that you're going to be like sleeping with women within the next week. It can happen, but I just wouldn't 
put that kind of like weight on your shoulders with that. And also any community that is promoting that that could happen straight away, they aren't the best kind of communities really to join. They're usually the ones that are playing on men's vulnerabilities and uh, just using the whole like sex sales angle. Most coaches who are really good, they care about building a guy up from scratch and certainly communities as well. Um, they are looking to actually build a guy up from scratch and help him to develop his authenticity and confidence in a way that suits him personally. And depending on whether you are just a really anxious, shy person, uh, you haven't had much social skills, or maybe, again, you've come out of a relationship, you're going to be in two, those two examples, you're going to be in very different headspaces and have two very different experiences of uh, dealing with the opposite sex. So, you know, don't then also compare yourself to other men, especially even to coaches. I know guys do that as well, but just come into it with no expectations and just enjoy that process that you're going to be going through and just have fun with it. That is what certainly it is about. And it's why being part of even dating communities can be really good when you meet other like-minded guys who want similar things to you. And even if they don't, have very similar personalities to you or even good, authentic, confident uh, personalities that you would love to one day have yourself. So don't set the bar too high and uh, you will do much better in any community that you join. And for my last question for you to ask yourself is what boxes need to be ticked for you to move on from the dating community? Now, I did a video on this the other day about having an exit strategy from the community. And my reason behind this in especially trying to keep this in mind very early on is that I don't want you to be just one of these guys who then just lives on forums or you just literally spend every free moment that you've got wandering the streets to go and talk to strangers. That isn't a life and not one that I have seen become anything healthy as time goes on. This industry is about learning what you need to and then applying it into your normal everyday life and just getting back into doing things. I want guys to be able to develop their confidence. I want guys to learn the ability of daytime cold approaching. But what I don't want to see is then suddenly just thousands of men wandering the streets and, um, you know, and like approaching women, almost almost like a swarm. You know, I, it would just be ridiculous. This is something just for you to apply into your normal normal life and I don't want you to uh, essentially have the experience turn 360 where maybe you came into this as a normal guy and because you've just been committed to the dating community it will actually make you go weird and I've seen that happen to guys who had really good social skills and then they have gone incredibly weird and unsociable because they have only focused on a particular kind of socialization. So I don't want you to be that guy. I want you to just adopt and take him, uh, uh, yeah, adopt the, the kind of experiences that you need to learn from the community and then go, you know what? I have learned everything that I need to here. It is time to move on. Or perhaps maybe you're the kind of guy who was looking for a girlfriend and because of your experiences and practice with being around other guys in the dating community and working with dating coaches, maybe your exit is that you finally got yourself a girlfriend and you have moved on. And that is brilliant when I get to hear those sorts of stories. But it's just good to keep in mind an exit strategy rather than being caught up in the ideology of what the dating community or what certainly the pickup community can uh, can kind of like keep people in. Um, because in fact, I will maybe do another video about the idea of uh, or questioning the idea of is the pickup industry a cult? But um, just bear in mind that 
it's it's not healthy taking from me i've seen many men but it's not healthy to just be literally staying in this community that's not uh it's not a sustainable lifestyle so i hope this video has been really useful for you um certainly just go through the questions again and you know and be really sensible with it are you in the right place to join a dating or pickup community and if you are brilliant um, I think it is going to be a fantastic experience for you to push you out of your comfort zone get used to talking to strangers and certainly develop that confidence that you need to you know have whatever the date in life is that you want whether it be being single having lots of relationships or finding yourself a girlfriend you know you will get a lot out of the experience because uh, in a way, I believe it should be a rite of passage for every man to go through. You learn a lot through uh, through doing cold approach. But go through the questions again. If you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, helps me grow the channel and reach even more men to help them with their confidence and certainly help them with this area of their life as well. And if you are struggling to, uh, to overcome any traumas or you need someone to hold you accountable with going out and doing approaching then check out my website in the description below where I offer life coaching and integral eye movement therapy but other than that thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned for more content and look forward to more com content coming from me from that dating anxiety guy